Twitter themselves track what's being talked about on the service from day to day, or from hour to hour even. What has Amy Winehouse been up to today? What has Amy Winehouse been up to today, by the way? Nothing. I saw her on the news earlier, but the sound was down. She got very, very drunk on stage. Brilliant! <laughs> I approve. <laughs> um, so yeah, trends will let the entire Twitter audience, if they want to look at that kind of thing, see what's going on. So I'm going to follow with a couple of examples of, of successful campaigns and perhaps campaigns that I just like. Um, the, the next slide uh, is about something that makes me a bit excited. It doesn't make me excited in the way that the Australian Christian lobby expected to make me excited. Um, this is what made me change my entire talk that I'm giving tonight, which is why it seems a little disjointed, because I only wrote it in the last couple of days. Um, 20 days ago, uh, this advert that you see in front of you uh, was pulled from display in Brisbane. How many of you followed the story? Third of the room? Roughly? Okay, so the advert, as you can probably glean from the, the visuals, is um, uh, a public health advertisement for promoting responsible sex in gay couples. Uh, this, um, some of you probably know the Australian Christian Lobby. The, the Australian Christian Lobby took exception to this. Um, they think that such displays shouldn't be in public. Um, so they did what they thought was a piece of effective activism. They started a letter writing campaign to AdShell and a couple of the other advertisers that were running this. Um, I think it was about 70 something letters all up to a couple of different advertisers, maybe 80 something. But the advertisers pulled the advert from AdShell bus stations all over Brisbane. This, you would have thought, would be a piece of successful activism, but social media got to hear about it. Um, on 31st of May, I believe, the advert was pulled towards the middle of the day. On the morning of the 1st of June, uh, Twitter exploded and Facebook exploded. And in short order, everybody in the country who had a social media account knew in some sort of way what this was all about and what was going on. And compared to, you know, 70 to 8 letters, 1.8 million Twitter users, 10 million Facebook users finding out about this. You know, it's a, a big difference, if you like. So by the middle of June the 1st, six of the top 10 trending topics on Twitter were related to this happening. So we've got Rip and Roll, which is the name of the campaign, ACL, the Australian Christian Lobby. Wendy Francis, the ACL, uh, what is she, director? Queensland director. Queensland director. Leads to sex, which is what they were claiming these habits do. Rip and Roll, again the name of the campaign, and Ad Shell, the company that pulled, one of the companies that pulled the advert. One of the things was that the ACL just didn't expect that anybody would care. Uh, but people do care. I mean, the Australian public are, for a start, majority pro-gay marriage, but this isn't even about pro-gay marriage, this is about responsible sex in relationships and preventing disease. You know, this is, this is quite, you know, a no-brainer, really. Um, but really, within 24 hours, social media had overturned the entire campaign that the ACL had started. Um, you know, this, this kind of, I'd like to say it stunned me. It didn't really stun me because I had the, the, the feeling that this is what we could achieve online. Um, but it was a bit of a surprise for it to happen the way it did. It happened so fast. It's like, boom. You know, at the end of June the 1st, Ad Shell had reinstated the adverts. And not only that, there were a whole load more public health adverts that got put up as a result. So imagine what this can do for skeptical activism. 